Hey guys, welcome back to Pisces Pet Emporium and today we're going to talk about UVB and what type of UVB bulbs you should be using for your reptiles. UVB light is found naturally in the solar rays of the sun. I'm not going to get into exactly the chemical breakdown of why reptiles need UVB. If you want to read about that, there's a great article in Reptiles Magazine. Basically in reptiles, specifically diurnal reptiles, the UVB light begins the synthesis of vitamin D3 in which they need that to start producing their own calcium. Producing their own calcium in their bones and being able to process calcium helps prevent MBD metabolic bone disease. So. What type of UVB bulbs are there? Well, there's actually a huge array of them and we're gonna go over each one and how to use them for your reptiles. So what we're gonna do is start low on the spectrum and then go up from there. So the first one we'll start with is gonna be Exoterra's Natural Light. The Natural Light is a very, very, very low output of UVB. It actually says zero, but there's some in there. And this is perfect for anything like tree frogs and crested geckos because they don't necessarily need UVB light, but it doesn't hurt at the same time and that bulb will help your plant growth if you have a planted tank or a bioactive tank and even though they're nocturnal and don't necessarily need UVB the natural light bulb is great for ball pythons because it'll help stimulate their appetite without frying them with UVB. The next bulb up on our scale is the Exoterra UVB 100. The Exoterra 100 UVB bulb is a low output bulb and it's meant to simulate being in a rainforest covered by jungles and canopy so not direct sunlight but kind of like you know what I mean? Kind of like like middle of the lower bottom floor rainforest where the sun wouldn't penetrate all the way through. And this bulb is perfect for daytime diurnal tropical reptiles like gnolls, day geckos, green iguanas, basilisks, forest horned dragons, most invertebrates, or any other type of diurnal rainforest species. Now we're going to move on to UVB 150. The Exoterra 150 UVB bulb is the next step up. This is a moderate amount of UVB. This bulb is going to imitate the UVB light that would be available to a reptile on the desert floor. And this is the one that you're going to want to use if you keep desert dwelling species, bearded dragons, most type of skinks, including a Peter's banded skink or a sandfish skink. This bulb is even perfect for most reptile species that need high UVB that isn't necessarily from a desert environment. For example, tortoises and veiled chameleons can benefit greatly from this bulb. That screen that covers your terrarium that actually blocks a lot of the UV light that's going to get through. I highly recommend that you keep a UVB reader in your home. If you're going by the back that is a great start but every screen cover can be different so if you really want to know where your reptile is hanging out where his basking spot is you want to know exactly how much UVB they're getting so you're going to want to be reading that with a reader. Moving on to the final one we have the intense bulb this is UVB 200 high high output UV and this bulb is for extreme UV output this is like baked in the desert hot Euromastics, Aki monitors. This bulb may also be used if you have a tall tank. If you have a tall tank for a terrestrial species like a trio of rock monitors, you're gonna want that UVB to reach all the way down to where they are. In which case you'd wanna use a UVB 200. What you're gonna notice when you're shopping is that there's two different sizes you can get. You can get a 13 watt or you can get a 26 watt. So what's the difference? Naturally the 26 watt is drawing more power so it's gonna have a larger UVB output. So you might be wondering, well what's better? Uh, a 13 watt 200 or a 26 watt 150? That depends on what you're trying to accomplish. The 26150, for example, is gonna have a higher UVB output at the top, right under the light, and kind of a broader range. Whereas the 13 watt 200 is gonna have a smaller amount of UVB light at the very top, but it's gonna penetrate the tank further. So if you have a, a tall tank and you want that UVB to go all the way to the bottom, this is your guy. If you're kind of trying to create a basking spot or you have a lower tank, then this is your guy. For all the bulbs that we just covered, the fixture that you're going to want to use is the Exoterra Canopy Top. The Exoterra Canopy Tops are made for these UVB bulbs and they are reflective on the inside and will shoot all that UVB that goes up right back down into the tank. There's two more commonly available bulbs that I want to touch base on and one of them is the Exoterra Solar Glow. The Exoterra Solar Glow is a mercury vapor bulb and what it does is produce heat and UVB light at the same time. At home I keep a melanistic jeweled Lacerda and this is the bulb that I use for his basking spot. And this is a high UVB output. You cannot use the Exoterra canopy to house this light. It will burn it to a crisp. 
so you're gonna wanna get a classic Exoterra dome light instead. And the last bulb that I'm gonna touch base on today is the Exoterra Sunray. The Exoterra Sunray is a metal halide bulb. What it is essentially is a supercharged, energy efficient solar glow bulb. It has very high heat output, very high light output, very high UVB output, and only uses 35 watts of power. Again, very high UV, very high heat output. This is for monitors, this is for your mastic, this is for bearded dragons. And it's so special, you can only use it with one fixture. They make a fixture for this bulb that you cannot use with any other fixture. So that about sums it up for the Exoterra UVB bulbs. And again, like I said, if you wanna do more research about UVB and what exactly is going on inside of the reptile, pay a visit to Reptiles Magazine. They have a fantastic article, link in the description. And if you're looking into getting a new reptile and you don't know what kind of UVB bulb to get, drop a comment below or find us on Facebook at Pisces Pet Emporium and hit us up there. Thanks for watching.